what's everyone saying it's your boy someone is supposed back again i'm here today on victoria bridge in the city center of glasgow and in today's video i have one question for you where is the center of glasgow in this video i'm gonna give my opinions we're gonna see what's the chat if you have any other opinions i don't know drop them in the comment below but yeah let's have a look and see what we find if you ask someone where the center of glasgow was you'd probably get a few different answers. Is it here, Buchanan Street, the shopping hotspot in Glasgow? Is it here, Central Station, the transportation hub? Or is it here, George Square, the civic hub, where fairs, protests, marches, and other events take place? Well, I could say it's actually neither, add to inverted commas, and I'll tell you why. Glasgow as a settlement has been in existence since at least the sixth century, when St. Mungo, now the patron saint of the city, built a church on the site which is near near the location of the current Glasgow Cathedral which was built in medieval times in 1197. Medieval Glasgow is formed of what is nowadays High Street, Castle Street and Salt Market with a number of roads stemming off like Trongate and parts of Gallagher. Over time Glasgow began to grow from a small settlement with around 1500 people in medieval times to around 12,000 people by 1700. The University of Glasgow had been founded in 1451 and Mill College was located here at the junction of High Street and Duke Street. Glasgow also became the number two location for trade in Scotland and began to expand across the river with construction of the first bridge across the River Clyde on the site of today's Victoria Bridge. In all senses, this stretch of road from the river up to the Cathedral and Royal Infirmary was technically the centre of Glasgow for many, many years. It became the hub for social and economic activity, especially as Glasgow's role across Scotland for trade grew and grew. Beginning in the 17th century and moving into the 18th century, Glasgow began to grow even more due to newfound wealth from the city's importance in the transatlantic slave trade, eventually becoming known as the second city of the British Empire. Glasgow was the entry port for goods shipped from the Caribbean, with a number of docks and eventually a new town, Port Glasgow, built to handle the numerous boats and ships sailing into the city. The city expanded westwards with the construction of what we call nowadays Merchant City. Many of the streets in Merchant City were named after the big tobacco lords of Glasgow or things related to Scottish mercantilism. Think Glassford Street, Ingram Street, Jamaica Street for example. This area is now home to some of the best architecture in the city and housed the residents and warehouses belonging to the tobacco lords back in the day. Nowadays it's home to mixed-use retail, housing and offices. The 19th century continued the westward shift of the center of Glasgow with the rise of the Industrial Revolution, increased wealth and the resulting construction of important locations and buildings in the city to the west. This included George Square, the Mitchell Library and the relocation of the university to the Gilmore Hill Estate in the west end of Glasgow. As the city began to grow outwards in each direction, the west seemed to get all the love. The newfound importance of the shipbuilding further up the Clyde Coast accelerated this. It slowly resulted in the shift to what we call the center of Glasgow. One could say that the Bruce Plan in 1945 solidified the area that we'd call the city center of Glasgow. The inner ring road, check out my video on it, was planned to encircle the city center with it bound by Charing Cross to the west, the Gorbals to the south, Tarned to the north, and the medieval center of Glasgow to the east. Luckily, the east flank was never developed because it would have erased an important part of the city's history, swallowing High Street, Glasgow Cross and part of Glasgow Green. Nevertheless, nowadays, the High Street doesn't hold as much importance as it used to all those years ago. It's a quieter part of the city centre, I'd say. You know what as well? I don't think there's actually a regular bus route that goes down this road the whole way anymore. There used to be the 15 when they extended it down to the cathedral, but that did not last for long. I think I see a tour bus stop, but that's it. Mate, that's one of them bus routes that you never see anyone that is paying cash get on. That's one of them ones where it's like, you know, concession pass holders. There's people waiting for it. And of course, it's that famous pizza machine. I'm not going to waste my money, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. But you know what I am going to do? Go to Aldi. <laughs> it's the best <bad> spinach. <laughs> the 
financial hub of the city is now situated along the river to the west, the shopping districts along Soki Hall, Buchanan and Argyle streets, and most people now live all over the gap. In recent years, the surrounding area has seen a sort of revival though, with the area home to the nearby Strathclyde University and construction projects at College Lands, Candle Riggs and King Street aiming to revive this part of the city centre. Yeah, yeah, you could say that every city has grown like crazy since the Industrial Revolution, but in cities like London and even Edinburgh, cities have grown out from the middle where the centre retains its importance. Here, it just feels like the city has just shifted to the west and then grew outwards from there. Well, if you are still here, the centre of Glasgow is actually right here, like there, that, this spot, mm, right there. Either way, Glasgow has grown into the biggest city in Scotland and the third biggest in the UK, retaining its importance in manufacturing, music and culture and technology. Behind the scenes of the pizza machine. Whoa, mad, come on. You see, as soon as it gets overcast, it starts to become dark. I'm here at Glasgow Cathedral. I wanna hear what you guys think about the question I've asked. Where is the center of Glasgow? People might think different things, I don't know. If you wanna add your two cents, drop a comment, drop a comment. Uh, also, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, also, comment what you wanna see in the future. It's been your boy, Summer Explores. I might go back to Aldi. I need to do a cheeky shop, but I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe, yeah. Peace.